Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to synchronize your Outlook and your Google Calendar. And when I say Outlook, I mean from the desktop client. So it's a free program, but right now it's in beta, so I'm not sure when the final is going to be out, depending on when you're watching this video, or what extra features it might have, because right now it doesn't look like it um, will copy over or sync anything with files attached to it. And also certain types of events don't seem to want to come over either. So how it works is you uh, install it, then you go to the uh, main program here, then you go to the settings tab and you got to set up your Outlook, you know, use your default mailbox unless you have another one, um, you know, different calendar if you have another one or a shared calendar, select a calendar from here too. Uh, you could filter categories like that, change the date format. So that's pretty simple for that setup. So for Google, you just need to put in your Gmail address and retrieve the calendar and then authorize the app to access your Google Calendar. Then you could disconnect it if you don't want it to access it anymore. And if you have more than one calendar, you could pick it from the list there. And then there's some options here for exclusions. Then you have your sync options. So you could go one way, you know, each direction or bi-directional. That's what I'm going to go. Uh, you have merge with ex existing entries. Disable deletions is checked by default. So if you want to sync deletions, you need to come in here and uncheck this and then you could also check this box to confirm deletions just to make sure you're deleting the right thing and then for when here's the range zero days in the past you could go back in the past if you need to and how far in the future and then you could also schedule it and then push outlook changes immediately if you want to do that and then under what there's a bunch of options here some of these were unchecked but i just checked everything just to get it all in there and then just click on save and then when you're ready to go, you go to the Sync tab. But before we do that, let's go to the Google Calendar. So we have a Google event with a shared file from Drop from uh, Google Drive, that is. Then we have a Google event with an attached file from the computer. We have a Google Remind, or Google Task, actually. And then a Google Reminder. And then in Outlook, we have an Outlook event with an attached file, Outlook event marked red, and an Outlook appointment. So let's go back to the app here and run the sync. So we'll click on Start Sync. Okay, a little pop up there. Okay, so if we look at the log here, uh, finding calendar, authenticating with Google, syncing, so three Google Calendar items created. So here's the three right here, three Outlook items being added to Google, and then two Outlook or two Google events being added to Outlook. Okay, so let's go see what we have here. All right, so in the Outlook, so we have two that synced over out of four. So it did the events, but not the task or reminder. And if you open it, no attached file or shared file that is, and then no attached file on this one either, so it didn't copy the attachments over. All right, so two out of four, so only events apparently. So now if we go to Google, we have our Outlook event with attached file, but no attached file. It will copy all the uh, information in the you know, description box, but I didn't add anything. Then the red, Outlook uh, event copied over with the color, which is fine. And the appointment copied over. So all three of those copied over to Gmail. So it looks like it doesn't like the tasks or reminders in the Google Calendar, but the Outlook stuff seems to copy over fine, except for the attachments. So I don't know if, I don't think it's supposed to be a feature because it doesn't say anything about attachments on their website, but maybe they'll add it later when it's finalized. So. When you uh, check out the link that I'll put in the description, you can see if, the, if there's an option for uh, attachments or not. All right, so I'll put that in the description. You could uh, download it for yourself, install it, and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.